Super. Thank you very much for inviting me on um, the on the presentation today. I just basically wanted to give you an overview over a side project that I turned into a SharePoint hackathon submission a couple months ago. So basically, the um, the main question I wanted to answer is, can AI help make SharePoint development easier? And obviously, when you ask that question, the first answer that springs to mind has to be Copilot. You can now create with Copilot. That includes SharePoint pages. I'm sure everybody on the call knows that already. So if you ask it something, you know, pretty specific, like create a HR homepage with typical sections for, you know, your leave allowance, FAQs, and so on, this is the result you get. Obviously, the more often you try, the different the results are. So it makes you different sections, picks the correct web parts, and suggests a um, good copy that fits your request. Um, so basically, in a nutshell, it is focused on generating texts, and um, it's just a great tool to easily get a new SharePoint page um, ready specific to your use case. But I have noticed when using this, what about web parts? So if I wanted to just make one tiny section of a page that focuses on maybe the local weather forecast or the stock price of the company, or you know maybe something like your leave allowance or what's for lunch in the canteen, is there a way to make just a specific web part with a copilot like sort of chat prompt? So this was the idea for the genie. That was just my side project. It is still a free to use web part. So if you liked what you see by the end of it, you can come back here, click the QR, uh, scan the QR code, and then you can download it. But basically it um, is focused more on generating web parts. It can also do whole pages, but it's um, told, been told the system prompt that I use here to really go creative. So it throws in accordions, carousels, search boxes, charts. Um, so there's, uh, you know, lots of interactive elements, hopefully that makes the, the output quite visually interesting. And it's just a really quick way um, similar to create with Copilot to mock up those ideas and maybe get inspired by what the genie has suggested to you. So for whoever is interested in how we do this, it's basically it's using Claude um, at the sort of at the back end of this, we send this off. Claude has a system prompt that it needs to stick to very specific components like Tailwind CSS, Shut, C, and uh, UI elements and you know, a specific chart library so that the output looks good. And we've basically tweaked that system prompt. So I'm going to do a demo of that same system prompt, but I just wanted to also give the audience an opportunity to just give me prompts in the chat. And then hopefully we've got a couple of minutes time to um, generate those prompts as well. Um, hopefully that doesn't go wrong, that part. Okay. <laughs> Then let's go over to um, to my genie. This is my genie web part. Basically, uh, I've given it a full width section here, but you could have a much smaller section where you stick this web part in. And then it does tell you, you know, a couple of sort of suggested prompts you could ask it. But I'm just going to ask it the same prompt that I asked Copilot, and I send this off. And this is where I've really struggled with my timing in rehearsing this because it can really vary how long um, it takes Genie to come up with an answer. So in the meantime, as we're sending off this big prompt, we'll also try a couple of smaller prompts. For example, I might ask it, make me a stocks widget for Contoso, and I'm sending that off. And then in another tab, um, I'm sorry, my Teams share bar is in the way, move in another way. And then you could also maybe ask it and um, create a small widget to submit IT support cases in my intranet and suggest common IT issues to fill in. And then um, I'll send that off as well. Let's check back with the original prompt that's finished. So basically it's come up with a 
uh, HR page here for us. It has covered all the things I wanted it to do. It's got a section for your leave allowance. You can even request more time off. It's got some sort of frequently asked questions here. It's got your team. So if you liked how that looks, you got a couple of sort of nice big bookmarks, then you could basically keep that. Um, so it will just show you the uh, JSX that it has written here for you. But if you didn't like what it do for you and you wanted to do the whole thing all over again, um, then you could also just hit reset and start over and ask it a second time. And then obviously the result will be slightly different. Coming back to, whoops, um, so that didn't work. Um, <laughs> we'll have to try that a second time. Let's see about my IT support cases. That looks much better. So that's just a small widget. Um, but I could say, you know, um, printer is jammed. It even seems to have some kind of suggestion system here that I didn't even know about, didn't even but I did in a way ask for it. Um, so that's that's really cool. And I can submit that. It's telling me it's submitted and that's wonderful. And um, then here my stock switch, it has also worked. It doesn't seem to be for Contoso. Um, it does seem to be for Microsoft, which is I guess close enough, but obviously you could try this a second time and then hopefully it would get it right. So um, let me just check the chat. If there is any audience questions, please, if you have any prompt ideas you would like me to do, this could only go wrong. Um, I will try and um, open my chat. Oh, geez. Major teams, um, major teams window issues. Here we go. Any prompts from anyone? Um, lots of chats. Let me check. Then list all documents in a list with number of views. Okay, we'll do that. Sounds good. Let me copy that across. And reset. And um, if anyone else would like a prompt, you can be kind of creative or kooky with it. Um, and then, you know, the results might be interesting. Um, but okay, so that worked somewhat well. This is very typical for these LLMs, um, especially the system prompt is obviously a major sort of um, a major sort of cause for that needs refined if you wanted to use this in production, uh, because it does just sometimes um, not want to cooperate. So let's try that again. Nope. Okay, that does not somehow that does not um, agree with the genie. Uh, it's not in the mood to do it. Um, what are the holidays in my state? Okay, let's try that. Um, very sorry to the previous um, request. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll reset that and put that in the chat. Let's see. Meanwhile, I'm trying the um, other prompt as well in. Oh, that was a question. How does the page create in the first prompt look and how was it published? So basically, um, to answer that question, it's um, it's writing a React component here. I don't know why none of these are suddenly working. Um, I swear I didn't train it specifically for my prompts. Um, but basically, it is writing a React component here using, you know, through the system prompt, very specific libraries that I would like it to use. Obviously, this could be tweaked. And then you get a non-functional UI that comes out at the end. Um, so it is purely just there for you to get inspired by it and see, you know, if you ask an a LLM a question, how, how would you do X? How would you do a weather widget? How would you do, um, you know, something that shows you your stock quote or a dashboard for your sales team or you know something for DevOps like issues and uh, sort of pull requests, wh whatever there is that you would like to display and just want a visual, um, like a visual functional mock-up of it. That's what that web part does um, here. So third time's a charm. 
I'm looking up uh, holidays is apparently what I'm doing here with this widget. So I'm going to try and enter a um, country. It probably won't know anything. No, um, so it would probably expect some kind of API to be connected to this in the end. Um, or, you know, maybe you could ask it to stick some sample data in so you have a slightly uh, more robust uh, mock-up. So I could now repeat this another time and ask it to give me um, some sample data uh, with samples for the US. I'm not sure if that's going to work um, quickly enough, but we'll give it a go anyways. As I'm checking the chat one more time. Thank you, David, for the praise. Um, we got another prompt, a widget is like a random fact about horses. That'd be good. Um, okay, so, you know, the more sort of the more you build on your prompt, um, the more specific your um, your genie result will be, basically. Um, so I'll also try this other prompt just by resetting this. And as I have said, if you want to have a play with this yourself, uh, go back to my QR code or I can show it again in a second um, and download this web part. So here we have horse facts and then you ask it for a new fact. So I think that kind of fits the bill. Um, that's kind of neat, I think. Um, check in the chat one more time. Hopefully I didn't um, miss anyone. Nope, I don't think I have. Oh, thank you very much, David. You've put the download link um, in the chat. So just go to that download link and then uh, there's instructions on how to install it in SharePoint. It's just a web part SPPKG package that you drag in. Um, 360 degree vision with the horses. Yeah, I did not know that. I'm, you know, might want to double check that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it it sounds plausible enough, so that's very good. Um, so coming back to what are next steps um, that we can that we can do with this. So obviously the UI is not functional, and the next step would be to make the UI functional. Um, so adding in the um, the company I work for, we make web parts like RSS feeds or like your LinkedIn company page feed that you can embed into your SharePoint page. And these web parts, they look very the same. They're just layouts that we have predetermined. Um, so there is, you know, a kind of designer where you um, pick different layouts. But in the future, I would foresee that something like the Genie, um, maybe a slightly better trained version of Genie could come along and help customize the layout so you could do either some simple tweaks like changing sort of the the list view to like a grid view or you can change the sort order of um, the results that you're looking at or you could do something completely interactive um, with it so you get you know maybe a carousel um, so whatever sort of things you could think of that you want to do that used to be a bland layout you could make that exciting or interesting or just otherwise fit your requirements. Okay, that was um, my demo. I appreciate it was probably quite quick. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much to the team for having me on. And I hope uh, everybody enjoyed uh, the little demo. <laughs>